Hello everyone, today I want to talk about one of the most important tools in DaVinci Resolve that actually not many people know of. This tool allows to check the whole timeline before delivery and it allows to spot any mistakes very quickly. But before we get onto it, please subscribe to my mailing list below this video if you want to be updated and if you want to learn more about the color grading course for beginners that I'm creating. And also if you like my channel, please donate on buy me a coffee and you can find a link to it below this video as well. But now let's move to the tool I am talking about and this tool is called Lightbox. And we can access Lightbox from the color tab. And here I have created a short edit that consists of 25 clips. Usually when I'm grading, I have hundreds of clips here but I couldn't show you any of my projects. That's why I've created this short timeline as an example. And when we have so many clips on the timeline and we grade them, we always have to check everything properly before delivery. And I always use Lightbox to do it. So the Lightbox icon is over here on the top right corner. Let's click on it. And as you can see, Lightbox provides expanded overview of the timeline's thumbnails and it's very helpful for colorists who find the thumbnail view in the color page too restrictive. So first we can decrease or increase the size of the thumbnails over here. And then we can click on the information button to be able to see time codes, codecs, and also to be able to quickly spot which clips are graded and which are not. But the best feature of the Lightbox is this clip filter over here. So I always go quickly through it. And this is how I check my timeline. So now we have all clips selected. But for example, when we select clips with fusion composition, we can view only the clips that have a fusion composition. My window is empty as I don't have any clips with the fusion composition on the timeline. But then, for example, I will select ungraded clips. And I've got one clip here that I apparently missed while grading. So now I can simply turn off the light box over here to go back to the color tab where I can apply the grade onto our clip. But let's go back to light box and let's have a look at some other features. So then, for example, we have modified, flagged or marked clips that we can view separately. I know I have marked one of the clips when I was grading. So let's select clips with any markers. And there it is, my clip with the yellow marker. So this is a very easy way to search for different clips on the timeline, basically, instead of scrolling through it. Then we can, for example, see all of our clips with the tracking information. So then we can open that clip in the color tab again and we can check the tracking. Then I can view my clips with the magic mask. And the same thing, I would open it in the color tab to double check the mask. And then we have a few different options, like we can select and view clips with noise reduction, open effects or different frame rate, but I don't have any of those. So I'll go back to all clips. And also we can open color controls in the light box over here. As in theory, we can grade using this view as well, like this ungraded clip, for example. Let's open curves here and we can grade it. But obviously I wouldn't recommend it as basically this thumbnail view doesn't allow to see what we are doing properly. But this option can work when you have an external grading monitor so you can see the selected clip on this separate monitor full screen. I also often use Lightbox to organize my clips into groups to keep my whole project neat and tidy. And it's also very simple to do. I can simply select the clips I want to group by holding shift and then right click and let's select add into a new group and let's label the group. I will call it before the fight. Okay. And then our group will appear over here in the grouped folder. So then in case we had a few different groups of shots, like for example, day scenes and night scenes, or interior shots and exterior shots, we can also group them, view them and check them separately. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope that you like them. If you do, hit subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment below. See you soon.